while complaining about this could get you in a bit of bother. Let's begin. Now I've got to be very careful with my word in this video because I don't want to get sued in the face by people who probably can't handle someone's opinion. Anyway, it quite often seems, especially recently, that companies have been bending over backwards and have appeared to change all sorts of their policies so they presumably don't come across as offending some people out there, especially people who have decided that they now identify as the opposite sex, which don't get me wrong, that's a decision which is entirely up to the person themselves. And I just want to make it clear that I have no problem with that at all. If a person decides that's what they want to do, you know, it's their body arm after all, so that's fine. I'm not transphobic at all in the slightest, but what maybe is quite concerning for some people is, according to the Daily Express, is that ladies could potentially be strip searched by a trans police officer who was born male, and if they complain about it, then that in itself, depending on the circumstances of course, could actually be classed as a hate incident or even a crime, which I personally think is a bit bad. Yeah, I'm not trying to say that it's okay for people to be discriminated against, especially within the workplace, because it isn't. However, someone who complains may actually have a genuine safety concern, especially if, for example, they've been a victim of a sexual crime and happen to notice that the officer, shall we say, is standing to attention in a certain area, if of course they haven't yet had their presumably unwanted equipment removed, which I'm not saying will happen all the time, but I guess it could potentially happen. The directive has caused fury among campaigners for women's rights and a fear it will further erode trust in police. The National Police Chiefs Council states, chief officers have advised to recognise the status of transgender colleagues from the moment they transition, which is the point which they present in the gender with which they identify. The guidelines do state that it may be advisable to replace the person carrying out the search if the subject objects, but they add that if the refusal is based on discriminatory views, consideration should be given for the incident to be recorded as a non-crime hate incident unless the circumstances amount to a crime. Heather Bining, founder of the Women's Rights Network, said, This shows why our Respect My Sex campaign is so important. The so-called rights of people who say they are transgender are being used to systematically erode the legally protected rights of women. Well, I don't know about you, but surely safety concerns should outweigh discrimination concerns, shouldn't they? Anyways, be kept up to date with the latest news. Make sure you click that subscribe button down there so you don't miss my next video.